It's Bonnie. Happy Thursday. I am back. Check it out. I started doing up my background for Valentine's Day. I am feeling it. I don't know why. I want Valentine's Day to last all month. So I am starting early. Oh my gosh, you guys. This morning, I did a video um, kind of wrapping up semi-annual sale. Hopefully, we get more 75% off prices because... Um, I don't know. It wasn't as good as I thought it was going to be this year, but it wasn't horrible. It was like, I gave it a C. <laughs> One of the products that came out of semi-annual sale, though, is the Deep Cleansing Hand Soap. So I wanted to do a video explaining the difference between the foaming hand soap and the deep cleansing hand soap. I've actually um, used all of the Bath & Body Works hand soap at some point or another. Um, usually they change up their formula once in a while. We've got like um, that clean formula. I don't like that one as much. It feels too watery. My go-to soap for the most part is the foaming soap. I don't know why I like this formula. Some people find that it dries their hands out. I am extremely lucky. I don't have dry hands at all. Um, so this one works for me. I like the foam because it rinses off super quickly. So if you get one of these soaps, um, the retail on these is $7.50 to $8.50 if you get the faceted. Wait till it goes on sale. A lot of times they'll do like, I don't know, like five for 27. Right now online, you can actually get the foaming hand soap um, for $1.87. They've got a couple of them on sale for semi-annual sale. If you don't care about the scent, um, they've got First Snow, Frosted Coconut Snowball, Winter Candy Apple, Watermelon Lemonade, which is a summer scent, and Glistening Gumdrop, which is actually an orange spice. Get it now for the low price. So... With the foaming soap, um, you're going to get this lid, which you have to use this lid with these soaps because it creates the foam. So if you've never used these before, it's liquid in the bottle. And then when you get it home, you have to turn it um, so the notch goes right where um, it can be pushed down. So this soap, I'm going to put a little on my hand, um, is literally a foam. Super easy to use. The smell is always strong, and then you can just wash your hands with this. I like the way the foam gets everywhere, and then you can rinse it clean. It rinses so easily to me. It's like, that's why I like it so much, because you put it on, you wash your hands, it rinses clean, you have to stand there for 10 minutes, and I feel like it like gets everywhere, because the foam spreads so easily. Um, this is a vitamin E, shea extract, aloe, and natural essential oil formula. Again, it does not bother my hands um, whatsoever. Over Christmas, we had the cleansing gel, the regular cleansing gel. Here's my twisted peppermint. This is the um, sulfite dye and paraben free formula. So the bottle is pink, but the actual soap is clear. So if you're looking for a dye-free soap, you're going to want to go with this. This is not dye-free. You can see um, that the product has got some dye in it. So these are tough to open. Oh my gosh. There's a little, there's a, no, I guess there, I, th I thought there was an arrow on top. They don't put an arrow on top. So what you got to do with these is you have to twirl them. This one opened really easily. I've had some of these that I sit there for an hour and I'm like, it won't open. <laughs> it drives you nuts. This one just popped open, of course. Um, and then this is going to be a gel formula. So I'm going to put a little bit of this on. You can see um, that this is a totally clear gel. They smell amazing. Very strong. Um, the problem with the gel, which is not a huge problem, is that it takes a little bit of work to get it going. So you got to rub your hands together. You get the um, bubbles going and then you can rinse it off. But it just takes a little bit longer um, than the foaming hand soap to get going. So for semi-annual sale, Bath & Body Works brought out the deep cleansing hand soap. And like I said, they do this occasionally. This one has vitamin E, shea extract, aloe, and natural essential oils. So kind of the same uh, formula. It's not like uh, dye-free though. So this one, I'm going to put a little bit on my hand here. You can see 
It's got the um, the pink in it. And then if you kind of roll it around on your hand a little bit, you can kind of feel um, like these beads in it. Um, I don't necessarily know if that creates like this amazing deep cleansing. I feel like any of this soap is going to cleanse really, really well. I tried this one, aside from the little beads, it feels exactly um, like the other soap. Um, again, the dye does not really bother my hands because I don't have sensitive skin on my hands. So I could use any of the Bath & Body Works soap and be perfectly fine. Um, if you want like the strawberry soda, you're gonna have to get the deep cleansing if you like the gel because they don't have it in um, the regular cleansing gel. So we shall see uh, what comes out in the spring. I've got the um, Island Papaya, which smells really good though. Let me see if this one pops easily. It pops so, <laughs> I had so much trouble with these. I can't remember, I just had one and it went open. I like the way Island Papaya smells though. This one is amazing. Um, I like that in the kitchen. Let me see if I have another one um, in the, okay. This is an older one. This is the Wicked Apple. I'm gonna pop this one to see if it works. See, this is not working. This is what I'm talking about. Sometimes what they do is they just twirl and you're pulling up the whole unit. And then I'm trying, see, this one won't pop. I don't know why you get the one occasionally that does not pop. And then you got to fold with it and then you got to kind of hold it down. There we go. But it took a while. It was not easy. By the way, this is Wicked Apple. <laughs> I got to use this one. Oh, this smells so good. Um, this is the dye free one. The bottle is green. So like I said, what you're going to want to do when you're at Bath and Body Works or online is kind of like look around, see which one suits your skin needs. And then if you like the dye free paraben free, I would recommend trying both the gel and the foam if you've never used the soap before, just to see which one you like better, because you might have a preference. But um, I like to explain the soap once in a while, because a lot of people haven't used Bath & Body Works soap yet. It's just like brand new to them. So I try to be, um, you know, as descriptive as possible. So anyway, uh, let me know which one you prefer. I will see you guys later. Bye bye.